Hi, my name is Anton and welcome to my take, a what the flick segment where movie enthusiasts like myself get to share their thoughts on films. Flying in low under the radar with just 2 million in the box office this weekend, Michael Moore's where to Invade Next follows the documentarian on his trip to Europe, where he looks at the way they run their countries to see if there is anything to be learned there. Where to Invade Next Clearly a sarcastic title alluding to American gung-ho attitude to invading foreign lands. Except in this case, instead of taking oil, we're taking ideas. Alright, I'm on board, let's go. The film starts off with the footage of all the different social plights that are ailing America. A real hodgepodge of everything that sucks. But then Michael Moore waves the flag and takes us behind the enemy lines. By the way, the actual flag planting that he does may have sounded like a good idea in a production meeting, but became trite as soon as he did it the first time. And he kept doing it many more times after that. I like Michael Moore. He may look like an elderly woman, but he has a youthful heart and a curiosity to match. And he brings both along on his trip to Europe. Which is great. What bothered me about this movie is how idyllic a picture it painted. Seriously, the worst problem that these Europeans appear to be facing is that their teenagers also have acne. Everything else is at acme. Nothing short of perfection. And I understand that doing a documentary like this necessitates a degree of bias, but making things look this rosy will only help sharpen the skeptic's knives. What I really enjoyed about this film are the subtle jabs that it took at different cultures and countries, including America itself. There were parts of the film that made you feel like you were watching Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, like investigative journalism with a good dose of hilarity. Now, that's a compliment and I really wish there was more of that in this movie because there were parts of it that were just dragging for ages. That's what probably bothered me the most is how long it was and how boring it got at times. Two hours is in entirely too long for a movie like this. The director's attempts at lacrimose sentimentality fell flat, so he really should have stuck with what was working well, which is keeping it satirical and funny. Comparing educational employment and penitentiary systems in America versus Europe definitely exposed some striking differences, but the critical thinker in me felt like this was too much of a propaganda piece. Too one-sided, too simplistic, made me question the whole thing even if it were factually accurate. But with all these downside, this is still a really good watch. And there is a really cool twist towards the end that I think did a really good job of addressing some of the reservations that people might feel about taking these foreign concepts and applying them domestically. Overall, this was definitely an eye-opening film, but it could have packed a lot more of a punch if it were shorter and more focused. I definitely walked away with some new knowledge and things to reflect on, and because of how informative it were, I'll give this movie a 7 out of 10. But that's my take. What did you think? Post in the comments. Oh, and I did read your comments, so the next review will be Synecdoche, New York. I sense I'm going to be badly out of my depth on that one, but I will share my thoughts. Until then, cheers.